my people happy friday yo hope y'all are good hope y'all are keeping warm cold outside but it's warm in the stool we are within for the pre-match thoughts of our game against west ham game week five already guys game week five the league is sprinting and from game week five it gets hectic it gets hectic in terms of fixtures guys the longest break chelsea will get will be a five-day spell otherwise conference league carabao cup premier league back to back to back football we'll be together we'll be within let's get it y'all so this is a big game this is a big game lopetegui on the other side with west ham definitely would love to prove a point in a london derby and uh chelsea don't have the best record against the hammers no no they have a few of our former players there or is it just emerson now could just be Emerson, yeah. Fullbacks to engage, but uh, they need goals. I'm a little bit surprised because I think Alonso getting forward. What a run Look at this, this one. Look at this from Kurt Zuma. Still going. Now the step overs and the shot. Oh, wow. West Ham, not in the worst shape. Chelsea, not in the worst shape either. 50% win record for us so far. Two games won. One draw. One L. First game of the season against Man City. Slightly expected. But we're here at game week five. And honestly... I gain more confidence in the squad every single time we play, guys. So, Conference League aside, those surveyed games, we were playing a totally different squad of players. Different 11, different substitutes. But in the Premier League, we are getting better. And Mareska is trying different things. Initially, he wasn't even trying the fullback system of fullbacks flanking beyond the wingers. But now Kukreda is doing it a bit. So, in terms of lineup, guys, Let's be excited. Romeo Lavia is smiling in training. Look at the guy. Look at the guy. Enzo Fernandez, we don't know if he'll be available, though. We're not sure. He wasn't available for the last game. I don't know if it was family related. I actually didn't see any news about Enzo Fernandez. But it possibly gives us a chance to see a very strong midfield three of Cole Palmer, Romeo Lavia, and Moise Caicedo. <laughs> Finally saying it correctly because of that video. <laughs> yes. So that, that three. That three could be the future of Chelsea, guys. I know Enzo Fernandez is vice captain. I still don't disagree with the decision. Broken record. But I feel in terms of strength and ability in midfield, Lavia has the long pass. Caicedo has the long pass. But they're both very strong defensively, interception-wise. So we feel protected when they're both on the pitch. Either all can go forward and the other one can protect us and we won't feel vulnerable as a team. Front three as well. A front three that Enzo Maresca himself has to be itching to watch. Honestly, at this point. Neto was training the right wing this week, guys. He was training left-footed short shots off the right wing, dribbling past, uh, what do you call those dummy uh, training uh, thingies? Those, those gadgets, yes. He was scoring on the left foot on from the right side. I think he gets the start. I think he finally gets the start ahead of Madweki just to see. And Madweki's hunger off the bench regardless of what happens in the game whether we're winning whether we're drawing whether we are not we're not we're not losing this game no we're not losing this game guys but yes front three of Christopher Nkunku Neto as we said on the right wing and Jaden Sancho it is time to start games now Sancho could be a player that's an off the bench player but we won't know until we start him another player that I feel is suffering to some degree is Joao Felix guys Joao Felix deserves a bit more minutes honestly but I think he's best suited for the 10 role in Chelsea's system from what I've seen so far. So that's Cole Palmer's position. Towards the end of games, maybe we can have both of them on the pitch in one DM, either Caicedo or Lavia. Um, so we'll see about that. But Felix is, or Felix is suffering, guys. I think he needs a bit more time to prove himself. And the back line remains consistent. You know, Kukurea. Gusto seems to be back. He was stretching it out there with Lavia. We are within with Gusto, and I'm confident with the back line as soon as Gusto returns. Because I think from now on, Kukurela should invert. Gusto should be the part of the back three. Levi Colwell, Fofana. <laughs> Fuck, bless me. Stop it. Get some help. Bless me. Bless me. Oh, the sneezes, guys. It is cold outside. So Gusto, Colwell, Fofana in the back line. We cook. We cook. And the ever confident Robert Sanchez, who keeps. Looking to prove himself to us and to the whole world that he was not just a, a bystander signing from Brighton. He could be the guy. But that's my 11, guys. Well, my, my proposed 11 for Don Enzo Maresca. In Enzo, we trust. 
uh, Enzo Maresca, not Fernandez. Let's get it, y'all. Mm-hmm.